Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to merge two data sets in IRENA using Data Merge Tool. Data Merge Tool is available in Data Manipulation and it's called Merge Two Data Set here. And it is a tool in which you can take two data sets, first data set expected to be at lower Q values and a second data set which would be expected to be at higher Q values you can match them together using different methods. In my case <coughs> I have a USEX segment for every data set collected so I'm gonna check a USEX here and then I'm gonna pick that it is in this specific folder and then I have a pinhole sex in collected on my instrument for the same sample and this would be in pinsex folder. So I have one part of the table which relates to the first data set, and the second one here. Now sometime you may have, you may need to mask off some of the names and <clears throat> so you can select specific names which are then easier to handle. So for example if you decide to study only the samples which contain water you can type in here water and then you see only the water here and then you can type water here and you see only the samples with water here. The other choice is, in my case, I have samples which were original USEC segments and then I was already playing with this tool and I created the underbar MRG folders with the data. These are the merge data sets. So in my case, I actually would like to not see the merge data sets. Some of the regular expression hands are provided down here. So if you want to select something which does not contain a string, you have to type in this funny character. So it's a caret, uh, bracket, bracket, question mark, mrg is the string I don't want to see. Oh, sorry, there's a, one more character. That is a bank, mrg. Then I have dot and star and dollar. If I do this, <coughs> all the files or all the samples containing MRG disappeared. Okay, so now I have a first data set here, only the selected ones I want to see, and uh, I have second data set here. You can sort them. In case you want to sort them, you can sort them alphabetically. You can sort them using all sorts of different rules here. So that allows you then to put the uh, appropriate uh, data sets together. <coughs> Now, uh, on the right hand side, I have some controls over how are we going to match the data sets. I have some testing buttons in this case because I'm in a test mode. Here is the area where I will find the graph and then down here we're going to be listed which data are data 1, which data 2 and where the data will, data merge data will go. So in this case, let's me pick the Nafion FCB water. That's one data set and then I'm going to pick the high Q to it. And please notice what happens. So the red curve is plotted against left axis. It's the intensity one for the first data set. It's listed down here and you have your name down here. Data set two is plotted on the right hand side against the right hand side axis. And it's the black one here. By default, the folder will be name of the first data set under bar MRG. If you want to change the name, as long as it's a valid Igor name, it will be created and data will be stored there. Notice that when I loaded the data in, the default values for Q max, which, which will be used, that is the maximum Q value uh, used by data set 1, is set to the maximum of data set 1. In my case, there's negative value on a log axis, you cannot see it, so I have to take the cursor here. And I can take the cursor and select the range of data I want to use for merging. So for example, I can go all the way up here, ignoring this noisy part. If you drag the cursor in the right place, your Q max is set here. You can also come in here and simply type the value. You can go in and type the value and it's going to be okay. It's going to be set to the nearest, uh, nearest value found on that specific data. For the data set 2, the ra ra uh, rounded cursor is set on the second point of data set 2 and you can again drag it around and it will be changed here. If you decide you change this number, you can change and type in the number there. So now we have the two segments, you want to merge them. So there are actually 
uh, three methods which you can try to use you are and by the way here is a note you are in a test mode you can manually save the data which if you want to save them and the, the job you want here is really select the Q range and a method and it will override the existing data because you have this checkbox here so if you decide to save it second time you will override the previous data set so there are three methods we can try one of them is just simply uh, simply method this one if you hit that it just simply auto scales the data together so you can see how that looks like in my case I think I should probably drag this cursor a little bit lower okay so that is and just simply scaling what you can see is it basically scaled only the data set 2 this is not really a method which is expected to be used you can use it only manually there are two method, merge methods, merge one or merge, simple. If you hit that button, it will merge the data together. And what it will do is it will optimize two parameters. First one is it's expected that data set one may have some noise or some background, flat background in here. So it will optimize, optimally subtract some background and it will optimize data set two scaling. So it will take the data set to scale it to it and subtract some background from data one and it will use function called optimize in Igor to get the best possible fit with using these two parameters. There's another choice in case your data set two would have a possibly a small Q shift you can try to use to merge two and it will uh, use a background for data set one and two parameters for data set two, it will use a scaling, intensity scaling, and it will also allow a small Q shift. This is a case where, for example, your data set two distance may not be perfectly known, or an angle may have be may be slightly changing, or something may be causing these Q values to be slightly different, possibly. So you can pick any one of these. Uh, test uh, merge or merge two, depending on which one is convenient for you. So let's say we prefer the merge, simple merge. Once you decide, and and if you like the data, you can always save the button here. It will save the data, and what you can see here in the in the history area, it will actually give it gives you some results. So it basically tells you what it has done and it has saved the data. Just in case you want to know what happened, notice there is a green data saved button here. Now let's say that you are looking on number of different uh, files you want to merge together, and you decided that this selected Q range, the Q min and Q max, are appropriate for hopefully all of them. So what you can do is you can say, okay, I'm going to run all of these and you can go in a merge mode. So you can go in merge mode. You can go also in merge two. The only thing which differs is which one of the methods they're going to use. If you select the merge mode, you get two choices. It will process individually. If you process individually, you will select manually one data set one, data set two, and it will automatically merge them. You can also save the data immediately. That will automatically immediately save them. So let's say I selected this. And I can come in here and say, okay, take this, take that, and it will automatically put them together in a graph. It will match them together and it will automatically save them. So you can see down here in the history area, it has matched the data together and it saved them in a folder. So this is a way how you can relatively quickly go through a number of data sets and you change, run, and it will automatically save them. You do the same thing and the same thing. Now, in case you have a lots and lots of data, you may actually prefer to process as a sequence, in which case you just select a range of data on data set one and a range of data on data set two, and we'll go in and call uh, and, and, and merge together the first selected data set from the uh, data set one and uh, data set uh, first from data set two. So in this case, I can go in, I can select a range of data like here, and I can then go and say save and process. I'm going to click process as a sequence here. This button here changes into process and save data. You can hit the button and you can see how it goes in and with a small delay it will put the data together and merge them together. And so this is a way how you can quickly merge number of data sets together without any real work assuming the parameters to Qmin and Qmax are the same. Now if you are using QCX instrument, there's another advantage here. 
because the samples are named using a relatively well-defined logic you can actually use this button here and it will sort out all of the files together so go in and find its best guess to what the usex data set and pinsex data set belong together at which point you have them all sorted out and you can simply process them all together this is an easy way how to process hundreds of data sets in case you cannot do that the data are not from usex and wax there are hopefully enough choices how to sort these guys together and how to select them by the way you do not have to have it consecutive you can go in and select first here and then you can select these guys and these guys for example and they don't even have to be on the same on the same level horizontally the way the logic works is it will take the first selected one on the in the left column and match it with the first selected one in the right column and then goes through them in this right so you can go in and hit the button and it will go and process the right ones so uh, the other choices here are quite limited um, if you want you can use merge too um, you can test your choices here um, there's nothing else in this tool this is a very simplistic tool if you run into any troubles typically it's a question of of selecting the appropriate data sets or the, the appropriate Q range uh, so this concludes this, uh, this relatively simple tool. Uh, if you have any troubles, read the manual.